now we'll see the problem based on depression in freezing point so these are the another problems uh, calculate the amount of ice that will separate out on cooling a solution containing 50 gram of ethylene glycol in 200 gram of water to minus 9.3 degree centigrade and uh, a k for water is given here so uh, what happens so you can use this formula same uh, delta tf is equal to uh, kf into m so uh, we can see here so delta tf so tf is the temperature is uh, 0 uh, degree centigrade minus minus 9.3 degree centigrade so again kf is given here 1.86 and morality so morality we know that so weight they have given here uh, so we cannot take 200 gram water because some bottle of the water will be uh, converted into the ice so this cannot be the full water so i have to take that part of water which is not under freezed due to the presence of ethylene so we have to take here weight so weight we know weight uh, is how much uh, ethylene is given 50 gram and molar mass is 62 but uh, uh, weight of the solvent water we don't know so right here weight so on solving we will get here weight of water is out how much 161.29 gram so this will not freeze this will not freeze so how much water will freeze so very simple so mass of ice separated mass of ice separated is very simple 200 minus 161.29 so we will get the answer here 3.871 gram so this is the answer so now next is Fourteen one point four gram acetone dissolved in hundred gram of benzene gave a solution which freezes at two seventy seven point one two Kelvin. Pure benzene freezes at this temperature and two point eight gram of a solid A and dissolved in hundred gram of benzene gave a solution which froze at this temperature. Calculate molecular mass of A. So again same. So delta T F equal to K F into M. Very simple. Here we will take two case. So case one. So case 1 will be your 278.4 minus 277.12 okay so this will give you kf kf you know that uh, one for the uh, weight of the acetone so this is the case for acetone when we're taking acetone so 1.4 divided by 58 and then here 1000 divided by 100 so gram of benzene okay so on solving this will get here 1.28 now case 2 so case 2 so again here 278.4 so 278 is the uh, pure benzene so 277.76 so again if you solve it you will get here 0 0.64 this for this one so again here solvent is same so 2.8 divided by capital m okay and here thousand by hundred gram okay so very simple if you stay this is the one this is the two equation so if you solve the solving equation one and two so m will be 232 grams so this is the answer is the molar mass of the molar mass of the acetone To 500 ml of water 3 into 10 power minus 3 kilogram of acetic acid is added and if 23 percent of acetic acid is dissociated what will be the depression in freezing point so k for and density water both are given over here so again we will take same formula delta tf equal to kf into m into here we will use one term i why i because acetic acid is the electrolyte so it will dissociate how this place this is acetic acid so it will convert into ch3 coo minus plus s plus i okay so if you would equal, if you take t equal to zero so initial with one this will be zero zero but at equilibrium this will be one minus alpha and this will be alpha alpha what is alpha alpha is the degree of dissociation how much it is dissociated means how much most of alpha will form so total most will be 
total force of elastic acid will be 1 minus alpha plus alpha plus alpha so this will be cancelled this total 1 plus alpha will be there so alpha we have given here uh, 0 0.23 23 means 23 by 100 that is already given so this much is dissociated so total will be your how much 1 plus alpha so 1 plus 2 3 will be 1 plus 2 3 so this is nothing but the i so now here uh, we put here value so they are asking what is the depression freezing point so kf is given here 1.86 m m is m is if you put this at m is 3 into 10 to the power minus 3 okay the kilogram they have given so 3 into 10 to minus 3 okay and uh, divide by so molar mass of acetic acid is 60 so this is given so again you multiply it by minus 3 3 so this will be total gram so again you multiply it by this whole value 1000 gram and this will be density of the uh, this is the volume of the water and multiplied by density that is 0 0.977 so this is the uh, this is the whole m this whole is the m and again multiplied by 1.23 so on solving so we will get here 1.86 multiplied by 0.1 into 1.23 so we will get here value 0 0.229 so this is the this degree uh, so this is given here so nothing is given here so here you can say degree centigrade kelvin whatever that is the answer The freezing point of the solution containing 0.2 gram of acetic acid in uh, 20 gram of benzene. So 20 gram of benzene is lowered by 0.45 degree centigrade. So calculate the degree of association of acetic acid in benzene. So assume uh, acetic acid dimerizes in benzene. So Kf benzene is given here. So again, dimerizing in benzene. So as a degree of association, we have to find out. So we know the amount of solvent. So if, if you know the solvent, then we don't know, we don't know the molar mass of acetic acid because if dim dimerizes, they will give the uh, different observed molar mass. That is the abnormal molar mass. So here we have to take out I in different form. So again, we use the same formula. Delta Kf is equal to I into Kf into m. Okay, but we don't know the molar mass of the bench because we, that will get abnormal. So we have to find I. So dimension means CS3. If you take it, so it will convert into uh, it will go into CS3 COOH. So this will be double. So suppose this is alpha. So T equal to zero. So at equilibrium, what happens? So this become one minus alpha. This will be alpha by two. So total I will be. 1 minus alpha plus alpha by 2 divided by 1. So 1 is the total moles. Okay, so ultimately we will get here 1 minus alpha by 2. This is the I. So I we know that. So delta Tf is given here 0 0.45 and I is here. This is the I. This is nothing but the I. So I is 1 minus alpha by 2. So I is alpha by 2. So 1 minus alpha by 2. So first we will find here Kf. So Kf is given here 5.12. And again molarity is some, how much? Uh, 5 point. So molarity is how much? K5.12 is given. So M. So 0.2 gram. So 0.2 gram divided by M. M is the observed molar mass. Divided by 1000. Multiply by 1000 divided by 20 gram. So 20 gram of benzene is given. So you, if you solve it here, you will get M observed mass is, uh, it will come 113.78. And we know that I is equal to uh, M normal by M observed. So M normal is 60 and this is 113.78. And this is nothing but equal to 1 minus alpha by 2. So if you solve it here, you will get alpha 0 0.945 or this will be your 94.5. So this is our answer. So here we know the solvent. So suppose sometimes happens solvent is not given. Then in that case we have we will take direct I. So now next is problem.
75.2 ग्राम ऑफ फिनोल इज डिजॉल्व इन वन किलोग्राम ऑफ सॉल्वेंट के एफ फोर्टीन के एम इफ डिप्रेशन ऑफ फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट सेवन के कैलकुलेट द परसेंट ऑफ फिनोल दैट एवरेज तो हेयर वी डोंट नो द सॉल्वेंट ओके सो हेयर वील टेक डायरेक्ट वैल्यू डेल्टा टी एफ इक्वल टू आई इंटू के एफ इंटू एम ओके वी डोंट नो सॉल्वेंट सो आई वील टेक हेयर वॉट एवर बेंजिंग डायमराइजेस दैट इज वन माइनस अल्फा बाई टू तो डेल्टा टी एफ इज सेवन कैलविन ओके एंड आई विल बी योर सो डायमराइज एंड दिस इज योर फेनॉल सी सिक्स एच फाइव ओ एच सो ऑन डायमराइज दिस इज बिकम दिस इज योर टू तो सी सिक्स एच फाइव ओ एच ओके सो दिस इज योर अल्फा बाई टू दिस इज वन माइनस अल्फा बाई टू सो टोटल बी वन आई विल बी हेयर दिस अल्फा जो दिस इज योर वन माइनस अल्फा प्लस अल्फा बाई टू सो दिस विल योर वन माइनस अल्फा बाई टू सो हेयर यू कैन राइट हेयर वन माइनस अल्फा बाई टू एंड के एफ इज इक्वल टू फोर्टीन एंड मोलालिटी सो मोलालिटी इज वेट इज गिवन हेयर सेवेंटी सो सेवेंटी फाइव सो यू राइट हेयर फोर्टीन सेवेंटी फाइव पॉइंट टू एंड मोरल मास ऑफ द फेनॉल इज नाइन्टी फोर ग्राम एंड मल्टीप्लाइड बाई सो अगेन दे हैव गिवन हेयर वन किलोग्राम ऑफ सॉल्विंग सो ऑन सॉल्विंग सो विल गेट हेयर अल्फा इज इक्वल टू हाउ मच जीरो पॉइंट सेवन फाइव और वी कैन राइट हेयर इन टर्म्स ऑफ परसेंटेज सो सेवेंटी फाइव परसेंट दिस इज फिनॉल हैज बीन डाइन मराइज Now see here, phenol associates in benzene to a certain extent to form a dimer. Okay, so a solution containing this much kilogram phenol in one kilogram benzene has its freezing point depressed by 0.69 Kelvin. Calculate the fraction of phenol dimerizes. K of benzene is given. So here we know the K of the benzene solvent is given. So in that case, we have to find the normal mass and abnormal mass, not like the previous one. So again, delta T F is equal to K F into M. So this is given here. Point six nine is given here. So K F will be your five point one two multiplied by. So M is given here. So M is how much? Twenty into minus ten kilogram of phenol. So this will be your twenty into ten to the power minus three and kilogram your three. Okay. So this is divided by small m. So this m will be the observed molar mass and divide by one. So on solving, m observed is how much? One forty eight point four one gram. So now we know that m and i equal to normal my m observed. So normal is ninety four. This is the phenol one forty eight point four one, and this is equal to one minus alpha by two. Why one minus alpha by two? So if you say C six H five O H This is your phenol, so this will dimerize into C6H5OH. This will be two. This is dimerization. So this will be alpha by two. This will be your one minus alpha. So total uh, I will be your one minus alpha plus alpha by two. So total will be one minus alpha by two. So this is the values. This we are writing over here. Okay. So this is equal to one by alpha by two. On solving, we will get here alpha is equal to 0.734, or we can say 73. Four percent. So this is our answer. In aqueous solution, contain five percent by mass of urea and ten percent by mass of glucose. So what will be the freezing point? K water is given. So again, so here uh, urea and glucose both are given. So here delta T F is Additive. We should know that if two non-volatile solids or liquids are given, so we can add their freezing point. So delta T F is equal to T of urea plus delta T of glucose. So both will be added here. So this is you can write here K F and urea. We know that is M. So M will be your M of molality of urea. Okay, and here molality of Glucose. Okay, this we need to find out. So K F will be here 1.86, and molality will be here 5 divided by 60 and 1000 by 85. Why 85? 10 percent is there. So 10 percent by mass 
that is your glucose okay and a five percent by mass is urea so urea will be five grams this is 10 gram. 10 plus 5 15 so 15 gram is the non-volatile solid this we have to keep in mind okay so out out of 100 gram how much solid becomes 85 so this will be again 10 by 180 so 80 is the molar mass of the glucose multiplied by 1000 divided by 85 so again you close it so on solving we'll get here this one 1.826 plus 1.216 so this will get total 3.04 so freezing point will be here freezing point will be here 0 minus 3.04 that is minus 3.04 degree centigrade so this is our answer